And so when we hear or sing songs of praise, uh, in our unity theology, because we believe that God is ever present and we sing that God is out there, but sometimes it's helpful to sing to a God that is out there, that, that we are receiving that love from a personal God, whether it be Jesus or Buddha or Krishna, or again, the divine presence. So we open to the Holy Spirit. We open to the presence of God. We nurture our souls through praise and through worship. And the second way that we do that is through connecting with others. Now the truth is we need each other. We need friendship. We need companionship. We need physical touch. And we are becoming more isolated, I think, as a culture because of our phones and our computers that we tend to... Uh, participate in activities maybe that are we're by ourselves right we're skyping we're facetiming we're doing those things and we sometimes lose touch with that connection and that can lead to separation and division it can it can lead to uh, making us feel alone or separate or disconnected and of course we're seeing a lot of that disconnection and separation uh, playing out and acting out in the world right now aren't we so <clears throat> one of the keys, I think, to nurturing and feeding the soul is to be seen at a soul level, right? To be seen. And that may make us feel vulnerable. And I think the truth is that one of the ways that we fall in love is by dropping that mask for a moment so that we can see into another soul. And of course, we, we connect with each other on many different levels. We have uh, socially, we connect by chit-chatting and, you know, talking about the weather and kind of seeing how things are going. And then we have another level of friendship of our inner circle where we tell people what's really going on in our lives and how we're feeling. And then, of course, we have intimate relationships. And where I want to focus on this morning is agape. You know, so we have all these different kinds of love. We have eros and, you know, romantic love. But I want to uh, have us as a community move into the idea of agape. And agape is divine love. It is the love of God. It is the love of spirit. It is the love of one another's soul. Because the truth is the more that we connect with each other on a soul level, the more the sense of separation dissolves. And the more we're willing to connect with one another on a soul level, the less control the ego has over our lives, the more we connect at a soul level, the more willing we are to drop the masks that keep us separate. So in unity, the way we connect on the agape level is by beholding the Christ in one another. And beholding the Christ simply means, I see the God in you. That we're willing to look beyond outer appearances and all the judgments that we may have about, you know, our physical appearance or our age or whatever it may be, and to drop all of that and to look into the soul of another person. This is beholding the Christ. This is namaste, right? Namaste means I behold the God in you. So we are actually going to walk through this. You'll notice we didn't have a greeting this morning where we normally have our greeting because we're going to greet each other at a soul level. And we're going to do it orderly. <laughs> and we're going to take our time with it. So don't rush. And um, the song that we are going to uh, sing is The God in Me Beholds the God in You. Namaste. The God in me beholds the God in you. Namaste. Now, if you are unable to walk, I invite you to stay where you are, and as someone walks by you, they can make that connection. So the way we're going to do that, Linda, would you come up? And we're going to have our chaplains uh, lead us. They're going to walk. We don't have to do it just yet, but we're going to walk out this way and then come together. They know what they're doing. But <laughs> the song... The God in me beholds the God in you. So I want you to just to walk with that. And when you get to the, so to the word namaste, who's ever across from you, namaste. And then it would be the God in me beholds the God in you. And again, who's ever in front of you is namaste. So you won't be namasteing every single person in the room, but 
we will create that energy. So before we begin, and you can keep the music going because it's uh, leading us into that, is invite yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to be willing to be seen and enter into this experience with an open heart, with agape, with divine love. And if our chaplains would begin. We just need to start it, yeah. yeah. 